Hey, Jake here. This week I just wanted to talk to you about something big but small at the same time. And I want to talk to you about your perception. What does perception mean to you? Look at the landscape behind me. The city of Hamilton. What do you see when you look at the city? A lot of people might say blue collar workers or you know, just buildings, houses. But I'll tell you what I see. I see innovation. I see creativity. I see passion. I see joy. I see poverty. I see everything that you can possibly think of. Because down there, there's innovation happening. There's people coming up with new ideas. There's people who are striving to achieve greatness. But at the same time, there's also people who haven't realized their gifts. There are people who are struggling in poverty because they don't know how to take that next step. There are people who are multi-millionaires somewhere down there in the city. And there are people down there who are scraping together their last few cents to buy a loaf of bread. Now, something dawned on me while I was standing up here and it got me thinking about my perception on different things. It made me think about how am I looking at my outside world? And how is the outside world looking at me? And Earl Nightingale always used to say that your attitude toward life reflects life's attitude toward you. And the same thing goes true with perception. The way you perceive your world is the way that the world is going to perceive you. So if you act like a successful person, if you behave like a successful person, if you behave and act like someone who's creative all the time and has creative abundant opportunity in your life, you're going to attract that into your life. The people who keep themselves in poverty are the ones who are losing their imagination. The ones who are perceiving the world as something that is against them, something that is not for them at all. And I really want you to think about that because the people who are successful in life are the ones who get up each morning and say, today is going to be my day. Today, the world is going to treat me well. And the people who say that life is for me, it is never against me. Life is for me, it is never against me. Say that as an affirmation daily and you will begin to attract phenomenal things into your life. So I want you to really focus on your perception. How are you perceiving the world? And how are your results? If you're thinking about the world as something that is always against you and that maybe you've caught yourself saying, this always happens to me, it's just my luck. It would happen to me. I would get every red light on the way to work. Think about that. Perceive your life as something, as a direct expression of the words that you speak. Your words have tremendous power. Your words have the power to create your reality. So the more you perceive yourself, the more you perceive your life as abundant, as joyful, as creative, the more you'll begin to attract that into your life. However, on the flip side, if you think in terms of poverty, if you think of terms of lack and limitation, you're going to attract that into your life. You're going to attract negativity into your life if that's how you think. So I really want you to think today, how am I perceiving my life? How can I make a conscious change to make a difference in the world today?